So I hope there's video. We know that police are looking for that video right now. I went to all the businesses in this intersection today and it seems like no one was able to catch what happened. So at this point, the hope is that maybe city traffic cams could have got some of this on video. Police say they just need evidence and they need the public's help so they can find who did this. I heard my phone ringing and I picked up the phone and I I heard him say, Mama, Mama, and I knew it was something wrong r right away. And I said, what is it, Papa? And he said, I got hit by a car. I got hit by a car. And he started crying. <sighs> a mother's worst nightmare became her reality Sunday night. He said, they hit me and they left. It was a hit and run. <sighs> so, my baby was laying in the ground alone. 20 year old Dirk Kuvison worked as a caregiver for the elderly. He has now been in the ICU at UC Davis since he was hit near Arden Way and Harvard Street and has undergone surgery to amputate his foot. They're going to go back in and amputate from the knee below. His femur is broken and he has a bruise on his brain too. And they can't tell if it'll affect him right now, right away. That would take time. As Dirk's family waits to see his progress, they say they want answers. So do investigators with the Sacramento Police Department. As of Tuesday, they say the person who hit Dirk is still on the run. My little brother didn't deserve none of this. He really is a good person. The person who did this really needs to turn himself in. Because what they did wasn't right. Dirk has a baby girl who his family says is his heart. It's just not right. She shouldn't have to go through this. She just turned 10 months the day before it happened. It's not fair. And the family says the surgery to remove more of that leg is on Friday. Doctors say that they need to wait to give his body more time to process all the shock from all of the injuries he has. For now, tonight, he's still in the ICU at UC Davis. We're reporting in Sacramento. Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. So, Brittany, what should people do if they did see what happened or maybe they have information about what happened? So the number one thing, call Sacramento police, call the Sacramento Valley Crime Stoppers. You can even do so anonymously. They really want to find who did this or any sort of information. So they are offering rewards of up to $1,000 for information that could lead them to an arrest. Brittany, thank you so much. And if you would like to support his family, please go to the story at KCRA.com. You'll find more info there.